क्रेडिट कार्ड स्टेटमेंट तो वो बोली योर बैंक स्टेटमेंट इज नियर जीरो एंड क्रेडिट कार्ड बैलेंस इज माइनस एटी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड देन शी सेड ओके सो दिस इज द रीजन वाई द फोन इज नॉट वर्किंग बिकॉज यू मैट नॉट पेड फॉर द फोन देन शी सेड इफ योर फाइनेंशियल कंडीशन वॉज सच देन वाई डिड यू गेट मैरिड सो सो आई सेड लिसन नाउ नाउ ऑफकोर्स मैरिज इज डन वी कैन अनवाइंड सो लेट्स लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन करेक्ट दिस या so we had a small discussion and then we evolved a concept which which of course she put it across so you enjoy your current life but keep saving for tomorrow now this is a very simple concept which is quite logical two to three days after marriage that i experienced uh, and and it's a kind of a lesson all throughout so aap ceo hai company ke let's talk about this tell me little ki what sets your company apart from other shipping companies this company when it was formed in december 2016 it was uh, formed by crowd funding crowd funding means normal local qatari citizens from the savings they have put in money into the company and with that money we bought ships and operate ships yeah i think this is the only company in qatar which has done that and not only only company in qatar i think worldwide crowd funding for owning ships was the only new concept that came in and over the period of last 7 years Uh, we have ensured that the interest of investors remain with the company not just for sake of getting a dividend at the end of the year so what we do we have done is we have created a website where any investors who have invested in in this company can log in and they can look at the board meetings from day 1 to know the directions of the company the the yeah so so yeah and even the financial you know monthly financial statements uh quarterly financial statements audited financial statements then the quarterly technical condition report of the vessel which is the ships so that they 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 can understand the activity of the company and be more interested you know to be with the company so that's crowd funding is is a unique concept which which we which we developed the second one is of course uh we we are a 100% export oriented company which means that all our earnings come from outside qatar we don't do business within qatar so all our revenue comes from outside qatar and and so so this year in fact qatar development bank gave us an offer of 100 million riyal facility for us to buy more ships so that we continue to contribute to the foreign exchange of the country so you can say these the two main points which is different from other shipping companies and of course there are many other we are the only company here who who give the opportunity to local qataris for for investing in non oil and gas because we are in tribal carriers right so most of the com- investors here might have invested in oil and gas related companies but so this is an opportunity for them to participate in non oil ga- gas uh, oil and gas sector and in 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 uh, international trading so 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 th- 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 these are the main key points uh, which separates us from any other company so bulk shipping ya phir tribal carriers se good transport karne ke advantages kya in qatar we have a major exporter of lng right. which is you know they take the gas they cool it down such that it gets liquefied and they have to cool it down to minus 162 degree centigrade so now this liquefied gas has to be transported to 
different parts of the world which are very far away india china japan korea and europe so so you have you need special kind of ships which has cargo holds which is insulated so that when the cargo is put into the holds the temperature is maintained at minus 162 degrees centigrade and these kind of ships uh, which which Qatar orders is more than uh, more than 200 million dollars per ship okay so now these ships take the cargo to different countries they export it and then they earn their wealth then that wealth is used for development of the country so what do you do you develop ports airports hospitals schools buildings and add more different new economies steel plant fertilizer plant so all this are being done right so now for all these developments the minimum thing which you need or the common thing which you need is you know the which is called gabbro the stones small small stones you know which is used for building uh, you know the construction right, right. so these things they get it from uae you know okay. uh, fuja okay. there you have a lot of hills there uh -huh. there's quarry facilities and we get these things from there now these stones you cannot load it on a uh, lng carrier yeah 220 million dollar ship and this has that tanks are not cannot are not suited to take that car correct so then you need these kind of gravel carriers oh. which which are, and there are different sizes 40000 tons 65000 tons 75000 tons which depends upon uh, you know the port conditions you you select what kind of gravel carrier you need so these gravel carriers the cargo holds are strengthened and they are set trimming which means that you can easily load and discharge the cargo so you use then these gravel carriers oh. to bring millions of tons of you know gabbro into qatar then you can use these gravel carriers also to bring in grain into qatar you can use these gravel carriers to get coal iron ore for steel plant cement link up for a cement plant fertilizers which is produced by qatar fertilizers can be exported with this gravel carrier sulfur which is uh, which is a by product of production of lng can be uh, you know loaded on gravel carriers and export so what i'm trying to say is all the different kind of shipping and gravel carrier i have not defined the way it is uh -huh. so all the different shipping sectors they are really the backbone of the world economy and they basically connect the countries and facilitate the trade sir aapke hisab se global commodity ke jo prices ke fluctuation hai wo kis tarah se shipping industry ke services aur profitability ko impact karte hai i will uh, uh, keep myself in the travel at the moment because this is a complex subject so like for example mai jo hota hai travel travel mein you can carry i don't know coal grain uh, fertilizers You know, limestone. There's so many, so many kind of commodities. So, किसी एक commodity का price ऊपर या नीचे होने से, it doesn't as such affect the travel carrier fares. Yeah. Uh, some some segments like if if अगर if it's a cape size, मतलब around 160,000 dead weight है, तो they are they are more uh, used for say iron ore. उसमें हो सकता के प्राइस अप एंड डाउन में दे मे देर मे बी एन इफेक्ट टू केप साइज मार्केट बट इट डजेंट एफेक्ट द रेस्ट ऑफ द मार्केट इन जनरल द फ्रेट ऑफ द शिपिंग फ्रेट या अर्निंग्स ऑफ शिपिंग इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द सप्लाई एंड डिमांड ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट ऑफ शिप तो उसमें सो दैट इज द ड्राइविंग फैक्टर बट इन जनरल अगर कमोडिटी का डिमांड ऊपर हुआ एंड उसके लिए सप्लाई भी आ रहा है मार्केट में क्योंकि डिमांड ऊपर होकर सप्लाई नहीं होने से व्हाट इज दैट ट्रांसपोर्ट सो अगर कमोडिटी का डिमांड ऊपर हुआ एंड द प्राइस इज अप एंड देन द सप्लाई इज आल्सो दैट देन इन जनरल द फ्रेट ऑफ द शिपिंग ऑफ द शिपिंग मूव अप एंड द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इज गोइंग अप अदरवाइज इट वुड बी यू नो न्यूट्रल और नेगेटिव इन केस यू नो देयर इज अ यू नो द डिमांड फॉल्स डाउन एंड द बैक ऑफ Uh, supply for in the zone you cannot reduce the supply once the ship is constructed it is there yeah. so if the demand for demand of the commodity falls the price of commodity falls the supply is there then typically the freight will fall abhi kuch personal aap se baat karna chahungi wo kehte hain ki keep your eyes and ears open inspiration is all around you aapka source of inspiration kya hai my father your father so my father uh, uh, 
so he's over there and Mr. Ajit Kumar Pal so so he's he was he was a marine engineer oh. and so so during my childhood it is to him uh-huh. that that I get got accustomed to this marine world shipping world uh-huh. and um, used to work for a port called Paradip port in Odisha in India uh-huh. and uh, so he was then he retired he was a chief engineer and so that port had a unique problem you now under sea also there are a lot of currents uh-huh. and with the currents what happens is it brings sand yeah so in a port this port had siltation problem which means that the under currents are such that with the water a lot of sand used to come into the port so uh-huh. when the sand comes into the port then the depth of the port reduces and then you cannot use big ships to come in so you do, you do dredging of the ports yeah and those are very costly millions of dollars are always, you know are, are used spent on dredging the port to keep the port depths so he invented an innovative way uh, a technology called jet thrusters dredgers so what's he about this is early 90s okay jet thrust dredgers uh-huh. so he pursued with the government of india because paradip port was the government of india that uh-huh. so they approved the pilot project to first test whether that technology works of course he had failures and because of that and ultimately he succeeded in the pilot project and then he used that for real time execution where at the mouth of the port he made this jet jet thrusters so that when the sand comes they are sucked and with water they are pumped out into the land so 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 that by he said you know huge amount of money, money for the government not for him for any private but for the government so 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 from him what i have learned is you know you must have passion for your job you must have perseverance no matter how many times you fail if you believe in it go for it and the third is productivity at the end of the day it must benefit the man so so these are the three things which i learned from him which i keep with me always And I feel, yeah, and, and I feel that would give you more success than failures. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for sharing your valuable insight and information. Then, sir, I would like to say thank you so much for Big Eid Mubarak, so and may God bless uh, all of us with loads of happiness and good health. Thank you, Master. Thank you.